The last example I want to talk about today is the Open Subsurface Data Universe Forum inside the Open Group. This is a group of oil and gas operators on the exploration and well side of the oil and gas industry. They have a fundamental business problem to solve as well. It's not so much a generation of systems issue and wanting, it, uh, wanting the next generation to be done differently. It's more about making use of the data that they get. These organizations spend a fortune on exploration and gather lots of data about where wells might be, uh, where potential resources might be. The reality is that they can only use about 10% of that data that they get because the data is attached to the application that generated it. They have no way of analyzing the data across a piece. So what they are working on is getting all that data onto a cloud-based platform that will allow them to analyze it from end to end and make far more use of it. It will also allow the vendors in that world to provide specific uh, added value services over and above what they would do currently, whilst fundamentally changing, as with the other examples, from a proprietary single vendor approach to an open standards-based open architecture based approach. The Open Subsurface Data Universe Forum has grown in membership very significantly in the year that it's been inside the Open Group. We have many of the world's top oil and gas operators participating as well as the suppliers to them, as well as the major cloud providers who will be providing the platform that the data will be accessed from. Companies such as Amazon Web Services, Google and Microsoft Azure are all working inside the forum and other cloud providers are in the throes of joining. And it's not just in the commercial world that our standards are being used to change the way things are done. We have a great example in India where the Indian government has passed a national standard called NDA, which is basically very much based on the Open Group's TOGAF standard and adopted it, meaning that any enterprise architecture work that goes on for either national or state government in India needs to be done in accordance with the standard. This creates lots of opportunities for our ecosystem to provide training and consultancy services in the standard. So in conclusion, the Open Group has a pretty compelling story about bringing together key players in different industries and the key customer organizations in those industries to solve fundamental business problems using our standards.